Yo, what's going on everyone? Back at it with another video, Lore Master Jasper. In this video, we're going to be building the Imperial Star Destroyer. This is a Class C ship. You can build it Class B. You'll just have to substitute out the main engine. It is designed Tier 4, again, but you can substitute that out um, with some lower quality parts and make it design Tier 3. Um, with that being said, I would highly recommend buying a shipyard or building a shipyard at an outpost because you can unlock most of the parts there without having to go to as many planets. But as the video progresses, I will try to tell you some different planets you can go to and buy these parts at if you don't have access to an outpost yet. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. Okay, now that we got the ship apart, let's look at the base layer. I would recommend building these triangle sections first here. It's just the same piece over and over. You just flip it and then copy it over and flip it and copy it over. I would recommend building out these first. And then the slope piece here is just this slope here that's upside down on the bottom. So that is just the middle connecting joint. We do have a smaller engine here in the middle to hide it. This just improves our mobility. We have our storage pods in the middle. You can use whatever storage you want. And then these two strips down the middle here are just landing gear. This is a heavy ship, so I just put a bunch of landing gear in there. You may not need that much landing gear, but that's all landing gear for me. I have uh three by one habitats on both sides of that yeah i put a large fuel tank in the middle you can put whatever fuel tank you want it doesn't really matter it's not that big of a deal and then our upside down docking bay will go here and we'll put a habitat on top of that in a minute i have these um kind of like structure brace pieces on the back this just gives a little bit of detail on the back of the ship when you actually fly it you'll see what i mean at the end of the video when it's all back together and then we got uh, a habitat here in the middle, just kind of connect the ship here and a landing gear on the side. We also have a habitat here connecting that three by one. And this is where our landing bay is. It's on this side corner here. You can put it on the other side. It's not that big of a deal. But again, the important part here is probably the docking bay. And then we have that hidden engine under here. So now that we have our base layer down this is the second layer again i would recommend starting out by building these kind of triangle shaped pieces along the sides first to kind of give you idea where the layout is and we'll take this entire piece here and we will move it over and we will sit it on top it just goes straight on top of the previous triangle pieces like so you have your habitats on the back connecting it and then these kind of larger pieces here these two by two shroud battle stations you can find these in the um at the shroud at eklund's shipyard so if you're looking or you can use whatever um other large habitat pieces or you can use one by ones or two by twos but i chose to do the larger ones because it reduces the mass if you put a bunch of one by ones it adds up and then we'll take this piece and we will bring it right to the back here and line it up like so it, the habitat here needs to connect to that docking bay and your engines will be in line with the landing gear we have two b class engines and then our c class engine in the middle and then we have those strut pieces uh again connecting both engines it gives it just a little bit of detail then you have these two hope tech pieces again i would recommend building a shipyard because you get a lot of the vendors inventory there at your outpost but you can go to Hope Town and find these pieces there. We'll use those again on the top in a minute. Then you have your engine and reactor core or your gravity drive. We will set those right on top of the storage. Again, it doesn't have to be these reactors and grab drive. You can have some smaller ones or uh, lower quality ones. That is your middle layer. I have these large habitats as I was saying. This is kind of what it looks like. I'll kind of pause it here for a minute and you can look. We have the slope in the middle. And we have that habitat here. This is just a connection joint. Then we have our third layer here. Uh, we have a lot of slope pieces. Again, you can find these at Primora. It's a good place for it. They sell them at a quite a bit of places, so just kind of look out for it. We have a lot of different pieces here, so I'll kind of give you a second look. We have those slopes. We have those triangles that you use for the sides, but we put them on the inside this time. We also have our weapons, or one of our cannons here on the middle slope. So let's grab this, and we'll show you how this lines up here. Select all. 
You can use your bumpers to move a large number of pieces with one click. So that's what we're going to do here. And this just lines up here. The slope kind of connects to that other previous um, habitat connection joint I was talking about. And it also had two laser cannons on the side. You can put whatever weapons on the ship you want. Now let's grab our habitats back over here. We will select them with the bumpers so we can move them at the same time. And these will just go right in between our two engines, again with those strut pieces to add the detail to the back of the ship. Now we have our fourth layer. Again, we have another weapon right here on the top of the slope. Let's just drag this over and set it on top real quick. Show you how it lines up. Lines up like so. We have a two by three habitat piece. You can use multiple two by twos here or one by ones. Again, I used a two by three to reduce mass because this is a super heavy ship. So that's what I would recommend doing. You have your slopes. Habitat pieces really don't matter. It's just the design kind of on its changes, but you can use whichever ones you want. I just painted the ones that would be shown on the X tier. All the interior pieces I just left unpainted. Again, we have our connection um, strut here. And we have some 2 by 2s on either side with a 1x1 one one habitat. This is where the tower will start building to the man bridge. We have our fourth layer. These decorative Hope Tech pieces, again, can be found at Hope Town. That's in the Vol system, I believe. V-O-A-L. We have that previous Hope Tech cap that we used on the bottom layer of the ship. We will again use that on the top. We have another 2x3. Again, you can use multiple 2x2s, but 2x3s will reduce your mass. And then we have a single habitat on the back for more detail. And then we have those Hope Tech pieces on either side. We will select this with the bumpers. Select all. We'll move this first piece over. I didn't select all. That's all right. We will just do it ourselves. Select all the pieces here. These don't really add much to it. It's just kind of decorative to give it more detail on the actual Star Destroyer. It lines up like so. Now we have our last few layers here. Um, we're going to leave this as one section because it's kind of the bridge section. We have three habitat pieces tall, and then our bridge. Uh, this bridge, again, can be found at Shroud Eklund Shipyards. And then we have our Shroud pieces here. These can be found at multiple places, so just kind of look around for them. Again, I think they're in the Primor system, Primor 3. We have some little radar decorative, like, dishes, dish pieces here on the sides. These can be found at Hope Tech. It's a Hope Tech part, so just kind of go to their own weapon manufacturer, ship manufacturer, and you should be able to find the parts easy. We have those two decorative pieces on either side. We have that piece we used on the bottom. Again, we, we're using that again on the top here. And then I put the shield generator behind it. So let's select all this, and we will show you how it lines up. This ship is kind of complicated to navigate on the inside, so I try to use as large amount of habitat pieces as I could, like 2x2s and 3x3s. I would recommend doing that because it's a nightmare to navigate if you actually want to use this ship. There's a lot of rooms. And it will line up on top like so. That back piece connects to that single habitat. This is kind of what the back looks like. Kind of give you an overview of the ship, so you, if you're trying to line up some parts here, whatever. You want the inside to be kind of hollow, but you also want, if you want to make this a functional ship, you want to have multiple rooms, multiple different rooms. So it's kind of a battle between how much weight it has in it and actual functionality. You can paint it however you want. I just kind of did like a gray color because that's kind of what it looks like. These are our weapons. We have a helion beam, um, a 250 laser, and a 4 uh, megawatt laser, pulse laser. You can add more weapons or less weapons, or you can change your weapons out. It doesn't matter. I just kind of picked lasers because I thought it kind of matched the Star Destroyer. But this is the ship. 
Feel free to build it. Feel free to modify it. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll be building more ships in the future. Thank you for watching.